Hey, what's up, and welcome to BestTechie.com, the place where we talk tech, answer your tech questions, do everything technology related. Today, I want to talk about BlackBerry. That's right, a company formerly known as RIM. I want to talk about them. You know, BlackBerry, they came out with those smartphones way back when. I don't know, they used to dominate the market. Everyone wanted a freaking BlackBerry, but not anymore. Everyone wants an iPhone now, or an Android, I guess. Anyway, so I want to talk about BlackBerry and the long road ahead that they'll be facing in order to get back into the game. So let's jump in and let's talk about my thoughts on where BlackBerry's going and what they're gonna have to face. So yesterday at the BlackBerry event, the company essentially reinvented themselves with the new name, the new, the new phones, with uh, that being the Z10 and the Q10. Uh, the Z10, of course, being the flagship, I guess, phone, uh, the one with the completely touch screen, uh, the Q10 being the one with the physical QWERTY keyboard. Uh, they announced Alicia Keys as the global, dire uh, global creative director. They did a whole bunch of different things. They had a whole bunch of new features out for the smartphones, uh, including peak, flow, balance, apps, 70,000 apps they're launching with. But the problem with BlackBerry is more... <sighs> What's the word? It... it it's more than just a reinvention or that needs to, that, uh, it's more than them having to reinvent themselves. In fact, the problem is deep in the BlackBerry name. There was an article recently actually on the New York Times and we covered this on Best Tech, I'll link to everything below, including more details on, in terms of the specs and everything of the devices, you'll find it all below. But anyway, there was an article basically that said, BlackBerry is an embarrassment. People do not want to be seen with Blackberries in their hand. It, it just, there, there's, there's a problem with that. So, so reinventing yourself is great with all new stuff. But if people don't think you're cool, they're not going to buy a product, which is a real problem. So they did this whole reinvention. Let's see if, it, let's see if that part gets them over the cool hump. But then there's a real, real, real problem that they're that they're facing in addition to not being cool. Here's this problem, and this is much worse in my opinion. And here's what it comes down to. When you buy a smartphone, you're making an investment and a commitment. Now, what do I mean? Let me break this down a little bit further. In terms of the investment side of things, you're investing in a piece of hardware and an entire ecosystem of apps and accessories. Meaning, when you pay for an app in the Apple App Store, you can't get that same app some more on another app store. In fact, if you, I mean, you could if they have it, but you'd have to pay for it again if you switch to an Android or a Blackberry or a Windows phone. And, and there's the inherent problem. I mean, it's not like, I, and in a sense, in a sense, it's like this. You know, you invest a lot of money in Windows when you, when you first use Windows, but then a lot of people switched over to OS X and the Mac. Now, we'll get to that in a second, but you'll, you see what I'm saying. People, when they buy something, when they buy a smartphone, they're investing in an ecosystem. So there's that. Also, they're investing in, uh, investing in accessories. Your shiny, nice, cool, sleek iPhone 5 case is not going to work on the BlackBerry Z10 or the BlackBerry Q10. Your, uh, your iPhone alarm clock or your iPhone uh, external speaker system is not going to work on the, on the BlackBerry Z10. So there's that. You spend all this money on buying all these apps and accessories for your product. You're really invested in, in this product. And, and, and now, what are you gonna do? You're gonna throw it all away, get a $199 phone, and then invest a bunch more money into something else? I mean, you could do that, and there are people who might do that if they're really loving the BlackBerry, but most people, they're not. They're not gonna do that. So that's number one. That's in terms of investing, investment. Number two, there's a commitment. So when you buy a smartphone these days, unfortunately, at least in the United States, you're faced with a two-year contract most of the time unless you want to sell a kidney to pay the unsubsidized phone rate or to, 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 get, a, uh, to get a contract free phone. It's, it's crazy, or, or to break your contract to upgrade, I'm sorry. So it's crazy. You, there, it costs a lot of money and they lock you in. And once you have that phone, you're stu essentially stuck with it for two years at least. So there's that part too, that's the commitment issue. And then there's this other thing. You know, back when Apple ran those ads, those, you know, switch to, switch to the Mac ads, Mac first PC ads, 
um, when Windows Vista came out, Microsoft ro royally screwed up. They really messed up. And the thing is, that gave an opening for Apple to come in and get people to you know hop on their bandwagon with those ads. Thing now is, here's the thing: Google and Apple haven't messed up at all. I mean, not not nothing that I can think of. They haven't done anything terribly wrong. People still love Android. They still love iOS. They're buying the products. It really doesn't leave much room for BlackBerry to come in and you know come and swoop in and and, and, and eat up market share. Now. To me, that just seems like a, a real problem for BlackBerry. They're coming in almost four years too late to a market that is completely dominated by essentially right now two players. And I'm not saying it can't be done. I'm just saying a lot of things are going to have to go right for BlackBerry and Microsoft too, to an extent, with their Windows Phone. Although the Nokia Lumia is doing pretty well, um, just a lot of things are things are going to have to go right for for BlackBerry for this to work. Am I right? I don't. I don't know. What do you think? Leave a comment. Let me know down below. If, tell me if I'm being ridiculous or if, I, if you think I'm right. I'm curious. Uh, leave a comment or email me, jeff at besttechie.com. Hope to hear back from you. Uh, thanks for watching. This has been besttechie.com. Until next time, we'll see you. And remember, remember, take care of your computers.